Satir categories. Satir categories. Let me give you a little bit of back, background to satir categories. Um, this was um, some research that was done by Virginia Satir. Sadly, she died in the, I think, the late 1980s. Um, she was a family therapist, and what she found out was by observing the family unit, there are a number of different behaviours that children and equally parents go through depending on their position of power and what the outcome they're wanting. And um, she's la labelled them the placator, the blamer, the computer, the distractor and the leveller. Alright? And I'm going to take you through them. And not yet, but in a moment you're going to do it too. Okay? Because this is a good place to practice, it's a safe place, and hey, you've had a glass of wine, why not? Yeah? <laughs> so, um, the, bl the placator. Now, I'm going to really ham this up, alright, so you get the message, but you can do it small. So, a placator it would be, please, mum, please, can I have that last piece of apple pie, please? Right? That's really hammed up. An alternative, drawing it back a bit, would be, please do this, please, please, because you're really good at this job. And you're using your hand expression like this, you're, you're placating, yeah? You're asking their permission, please will you do that? You know, you did a grand job that, doing that, please could you do it again? Or, you know, of that type of nature, okay? So that's placator. The blamer, the finger pointer. I apologise to the person in advance that I'm going to point to you, but uh, there we are. Uh, Jackie, I've told you to put your pen down. Okay? Any of you relate to that, maybe in school or whatever? Uh, so that's a real, you know, or I've told you once, you know, it's only one piece of apple pie. That's it. Okay? That's known as the blamer. To draw back from that and to soften it a little bit would be, Sally, could you do that piece of uh, training for me? So you've got an open palm but you're still pointing, okay? The computer. The computer is a great way because it actually, if, if you're in the thick of it and it's an emotional, quite an emotional um, scenario that you're in the thick of and you just want to step back to remain professional, to keep your boundaries and also in addition just to give you a bit of thinking time. Imagine that you're Spock, basically. And Spock would stand there and go, wouldn't he? It's logical, Captain. Yeah. This scenario would be, just give me a minute to think about that. Okay. That's known as, what's known as the, the computer or the super reasonable. Great way of just detaching yourself from any sort of highly emotional charge situation um, and giving yourself time to think. The distractor, the distractor is just absolutely everywhere. The distractor is like the, the, the comedian, like, oh, you know, and, uh, and then this happened, and this happened, and you never guess what, and then this happened, yeah? Full of energy, lightens the moment. Um, some comedians you perhaps can see on the stage doing this are really wild and wacky, and the body language is over the top and everything else, but really good because it just interjects some energy inappropriate, obviously. Uh, so just think about maybe cracking a joke or having a smile or a bit of banter or you know, just say, oh, you know, guess what happened to me, you know, like this. All right, so that's, that's the distractor. And finally, the leveller. The leveller is really good to use at the end of a sentence because it's, um, it's a way of saying this is just how it is. This is the truth. This is the facts. This is the information. Okay, so um, something like this. Uh, now, uh, Evelyn, I know I know that the patients are feeling uh, feeling uncomfortable with their present care that they're having, and it's just really unfortunate, and that's just how it is just at the moment. Okay, so it's just a punching. It's it's like a V shape, and you're punching. 
So you'd say that just at the end of a sentence, or you'd say, look, you know, I know things are bad at the moment, but, you know, we are where we are, and we just need to move on. So you've got to convince Janice using your satire categories.